Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. I have mail call again today. This time it's from China and I did not do this. This package already was like that. I think they kind of reused the box. But uh, I have a feeling I know what this is and I know who it's from. So I'm just gonna quickly open it up and present it to you guys. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get rid of this box. This guys is the Alcoa. Super Eagle Eye. If you guys have watched my Eagle Eye review, you would have known that I mentioned this Super Eagle Eye. And this is really cool because Alcoa liked the review, even though I was really being brutally honest. And they said, hey, we want to send you the Super Eagle Eye for review as well. So I said, sure, by all means. Let's just see how different it is from the Eagle Eye. Remove the bubble wrap on this and oh wow, gosh, look at that presentation, guys. On top of this, I think it's really just like a decal. And you're supposed to kind of stick it on and then peel its top layer off, but I guess, uh, it's still on there. Maybe they just didn't want to get scratches on it. I don't know. But it's a chrome mirror kind of a sticker. I know you can't really see it from the video because of the way the light's reflecting it and because of the masking tape on top. But this is... Whoa, look at that. Nice locking mechanism. Okay, so just checking all around. It has hinges, so it's going to open up this way. Let's have a look at how it's presented, okay? Because this presentation looks to be one of the nicest ones I've seen so far. Whoa, look at that. This is foam, it's a, a bit powdery. Hmm, I wonder why, maybe it's the wood grains, I don't know. Then we have of course the Alcoa name card. The same one as we had in the Eagle Eye as well. Spare buttons, uh, I guess, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit dusty, I don't know why. I really believe it's the wood grains. And then we have silica gel, of course. So we have a nice button set that I don't even know what metal this is made of. But I think this might be antique brass, they call it brass, if I'm not wrong. Then of course we have the spare bearing. This looks like a steel bearing. 688. It's spinning well, not as well as I expected probably because it's quite dusty. We have the bearing removal tool. And we have the Alcoa Super Eagle Eye in this pouch. Wow. Wow, that's cool. The buttons actually don't look any different from the spare set. Don't they? Nah, they don't. Look at that. They look the same. I think they are the same. Okay, spinning really well. Let's just take a peek at the bearing inside there since they provided a spare steel bearing. Let's see what this is. Okay, it looks to be shielded. Let's have a look at this. Yep, I was right. So I don't know if these are just steel or are they hybrid ceramics, but I believe that they might be just steel. Look at the inside, it's different from the eagle eye. This is not like a core, I think it's a solid piece. Looks like it, I can't really tell, but it looks like, you know, it is a solid piece. So the first impressions I'm getting of the Super Eagle Eye is that I mentioned before that now there are added weights, but it actually feels about the same weight as an eagle eye. I don't have the eagle eye with me right now, it's on loan to someone else, but this overall feels about the same as a standard eagle eye. Just that it has weights out here right now, I think you could turn it. So it's not like locked in place. I wonder if you could remove these weights. I don't know, I'll just try something out another time, guys. But anyway, let's go spin. Here we go. Oh, that's smooth. But also because shielded bearing probably means that it's also lubricated as well. So that could be another factor of why this is so smooth. But it doesn't feel like it'll spin as long as the standard Eagle Eye. Probably because overall it's just lighter, but I can't really say until I actually conduct a proper spin time test. First impressions on this guy, it's pretty cool. Not bad at all. It's a very interesting difference. It's a, yeah, it's how I'm going to put it. It's an interesting difference comparing this to the original Eagle Eye. So I, I can't really say guys, like uh, this feels different. Like right now, the first impression is this actually feels a little bit better than the standard Eagle Eye. Partly because it's a bit lighter. But you know me, I'm going to put this on my EDC for the next few days. And then I will get back to you guys and let you all know how I really feel about it. The next thing I want to mention is that I hate the fact that it's so dusty. Look. Like it's... Look, look at that. Like... See that? Damn. I don't think the dust bodes well with something like bearings. You know what I mean? Maybe that's why they chose to give you shielded bearings here. I might have to clean that one up and I'll swap it over or something. Yep, so catch y'all again soon, guys. One week later. Hey guys, I'm back. 
I spent about a week and a half, almost two weeks with this guy. And I want to say that this actually feels really different from the original Eagle Eye that I reviewed. So in order to be fair, I'm not going to compare the two of them. I'm going to just take this as a separate spinner altogether because it just feels so different. This is the copper version. I know that there is one in bronze, but the weight and everything is just totally different from the other Eagle Eye. So it's not fair to compare the two. So I'm gonna just take this as a separate spinner altogether. First of all, I will let you guys know that I actually have the unshielded bearing in this guy over here. So I've been using it with the unshielded bearing. And the next thing I wanna say about this spinner is that I'm a little bit confused. I don't know if this is known as the Super Eagle Eye or the Ancient Eagle Eye. Because at the point of time when I was recording the review for the original Eagle Eye, this was known as the Super Eagle Eye, but it seems that they've actually changed names and they've started to call this the Ancient Eagle Eye. Now there are two versions of the Ancient Eagle Eye. One is in bronze and one in copper and the one that I have on hand is the copper version. But it weighs a lot lighter than the previous Eagle Eye and the copper definitely feels different. There's some kind of a treatment going on in order to get this antiqued look. The machining marks here, the details on this is really very, very well done. You've got these crisscross marks on the outer ring of the wings, as you can see, or the arms, I should say. And this is kind of like weathering that was done on the spinner frame itself. You could see the brush marks here and there. So that's actually quite cool. I mean, it's not as pronounced as what they show on their site in pictures, but if you look really closely, you can actually see that, yes, it is brushed. Like right here, it's brushed outwards and you can actually see that there's a different kind of a brush stroke or direction on the recessed area as well. So that's really cool. And on the outer ring out here that actually houses the steel bearings. Actually, I don't know what material these weights are made of, but I'm just gonna call it steel. And you can see that, yes, it is also in a different direction. And this actually makes for a very interesting spin effect. You can actually see the lines going around, so it's quite pronounced. Let me get this closer to you guys so you can actually have a look. Let's see if I can get that. Right there. You see some really interesting lines going on. And because of the finish on this spinner, everything looks rather for lack of a better word, kind of matte, matte looking. I particularly like this inner ring here. I can actually see a lot of the lines that are actually made by these over here, these lines on the raised portion. And that's really, really nice. Interesting. One more thing that I forgot to mention is that the brushed look extends all the way to the buttons as well. So that's actually a very nice touch. Good job on that, Alcoa. Oh, and of course, the buttons are actually pretty comfortable. They do have a little dip here. So it's a bit recessed, very slightly. Not concaved, it's still flat, but it's comfortable enough because of the size and of course, because of the detailing that they have in here. You could see little circles in there that actually provide a grip. So I like that a lot. Okay, size comparison for you. This is the Alcoa. Ancient Eagle Eye up against a stubby. So it's not too much bigger than a stubby, but it is a tri-spinner design. Next, I want to point out that I actually had a lot of fun fidgeting with this guy. But like I said, with the design like this, you're going to have a lot of problems with these sharp edges here and here. So if you're performing preloaded flicks, same thing. You're going to start from the round edge like here. If you have it in this orientation, you might accidentally snag yourself right there and that would hurt. Same thing goes for push and pull, like that. You don't want to hit yourself right here. Pushing forward is fine. This way, it's not so bad. Pushing forward and pulling back is okay. Same thing to take note of when you're fidgeting with it with your fourth finger. Make sure you pay attention to where this particular edge is, okay? So that's the only main thing. So fish stability, not the best, but it does get extra fish stability points simply because of these free rolling or free moving weights. And I really like it. I think that's really cool. All in all guys, there isn't really much to say. It's a pretty solid spinner for what it is. I'm not comparing it directly to the original Eagle Eye. This feels completely different. It feels lighter overall. It feels like a different material apart from copper. And because it has these steel weights here, it actually pushes the weight outwards more so than the original Eagle Eye. So that's really a plus point. Now I know that in the corner, I was hitting about a minute and a half for the table spin, but that was because I did not break the bearing in yet. 
And to be fair, it's getting me about three minutes now. And I apologize because I was just too lazy. I didn't refilm that spin time video. So you're gonna have to just, I guess, take my word for it if you guys want to. But <laughs> yeah. And the price point. Now, this is a bit strange because I'm looking on Amazon and at the Amazon site, under the Alcoa lineup, this is going for about 44 USD. But on the Alcoa website, which is alcoa-design.com, these are going for about 56. So this is leading me to believe that the $56 one is actually this particular box set where you get this box, you get an extra bearing, you get extra buttons, you get a bearing removal tool, and then you get this pouch along with the spinner, of course. So I think that's where the extra dollars go to. And did I mention that the locking mechanism is really cool? <laughs> so pros and cons for you. For the price point, this is a little bit expensive. $40 is kind of pushing it. Yes, it's a very nice fidget spinner. I've had a couple of friends who actually saw my collection and when they picked this up and started fidget with it, they really liked it because of the sound it makes, number one, and because of the way it looks when it's spinning. There's really no better way for me to describe this except that it really looks quite matte. There's no real like glaring or shining reflection you know, like most other spinners actually have, besides the concentric circles that are made by the weight itself. But everything else, you can actually see the lines here and there, and that's really, really nice. It's unique, and it's not too heavy, and it spins very, very well. One thing I will say about it is that the RPM is actually pretty constant. You don't really see much of a decrease in the RPM, much like a lot of spinners do. It maintains its speed quite well. So if you want to take this out for warp videos, you're going to enjoy a really slow warp section. You know, when the spinner looks like it's kind of stopping and then changing directions, you're going to get a good one with this because of the way it maintains the speed. Yes, definitely there's some gyro effect, but it doesn't wobble. It actually kind of feels like a little wind resistance kind of guiding your hand to move through the air. It's really weird to explain it to you. I don't know how to tell this to you guys, but, but yeah. I am not a fan of this design. I will say it again, I'm not a fan of this particular shape. I just prefer if it were to be a normal or more normal, I guess, tri-spinner design or a more generic tri-spinner design. But this gives it its own character, definitely. The moment you look at it, you know this is the Eagle Eye Spinner. It's one of the variants, whether it's the original Eagle Eye or if it's the antique Eagle Eye or this is the ancient eagle eye because there's an antique version that doesn't have these weights it's just hollow but it has this same look and as always guys i will be putting links in the video description below so if you're interested in getting one for yourself please go ahead and check it out make sure you get it directly from alcoa if not from their website then make sure that it's from the correct amazon sales page just make sure that the seller is alcoa themselves don't buy knockoffs i will say it again it's strange why anyone would want to make a knockoff of a rather generic tri-spinner design. It's really strange, yeah? But uh, if you're asking me if this is a spinner for me, I would say maybe not. It's nice to have because it looks different from most spinners that I have, but definitely not something that I would put $40 down. So if we're talking about me not putting $40 down, I will definitely not put $50 down for one of these. I'm sorry, but that's the hard truth. Next thing. I used it quite a bit, so I dinged it here and here, as you guys can see. So this is actually a dent, but this kind of got a chunk of the metal off. So you can actually see the raw metal underneath, and yes, it's copper. But yeah, this is what it looks like, guys, so you gotta be careful. If you wanna maintain this particular worn out or ancient look, you don't wanna drop this, <laughs> unfortunately. I was just trying out some spinner tricks with this guy, and then I dropped it more than once, so that's my fault. <laughs> so that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you liked this video. I hope that I gave you enough information to help you decide whether or not the Alcoa Ancient Eagle Eye is a spinner for you. In terms of the packaging, this is really awesome. There aren't many spinners out there with packaging that could rival this. If you're looking to get someone a spinner as a gift and you want something that looks a bit more premium and is super presentable, this would be it. I mean, barring the box and all the presentation nuances, the spinner itself looks really, really good. A little bit expensive for what it is, but that's what it is. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll catch you guys in the next slice of my life. Bye!